My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for Made, the TV miniseries. Now I heard amazing things about this show but I wasn't really planning on watching it. I just got the feeling it was going to be one of those shows that's a bit too long, very slow, very boring. But I eventually gave in and I'm very glad I did because this is one of the very best TV shows of 2021. And let's begin with talking about the amazing cast. Now a few years ago, when Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out, everybody was talking about Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie. But I was talking about Brad Pitt and one other actress who isn't in the movie a bunch, but stole every scene she was in, and that was Margaret Crawley. And I'm very glad to see that she's getting more opportunities now because she more than deserves it. She's absolutely incredible in this show. She never overdoes it. She's never over the top. She always keeps this show grounded and she keeps it feeling real. At no point did this feel like just another character on a TV show. She felt like a real person going through very real things and she brought this person to life perfectly. Andy McDowell is also in this TV show. She plays Margaret Crawley's mother and the interesting thing about that is that she is Margaret Crawley's mother in real life. And I like it when movies and TV shows do that. You really get the sense that there's a real mother-daughter relationship between the two of them and I think she's very great in this show as well. She's definitely over the top and a bit crazy but that's a purposeful decision and I thought she was great in this show. Nick Robinson's also in this show. Uh, he was in the movies Love, Simon, The Kings of Summer and he was great in those two movies and this is a side of him that I haven't seen before. He's also amazing in this show. Uh, he just portrays this character so perfectly. You know, when he's this mean, aggressive asshole, you just hate him. But when he says he wants to do better, when he's trying to be a nice guy, you buy into it as well, just like the main character does. So the manipulation doesn't just work for the main character, it also works for the audience. Because in moments, you're just like, oh, maybe this guy is trying to do better. Maybe I should feel bad for him. And just the way Nick Robinson balances those two different aspects of his character is just absolutely masterful. He feels like a real person and I just thought he was really great in the show. A young actress whose name I'm going to definitely mispronounce, Wailia Navia Wartit, is also amazing in the show. Very young actress, but she never felt like a kid in front of a camera. She felt like a genuine character and for a young actress, she's really great like at no point was I taken out of it which is very rare when a kid's in front of the camera so kudos to her. Um, Anika Nani Rose who I was happy to see she was in the show she sung Almost There in Princess and the Frog for Disney back in 2009 and that's one of the most underrated Disney songs. I love it. I love Princess and the Frog and I was glad to see that she was in this show and she's really good in this show. She's not in it a ton but whenever she is she brings more complexity to her character and I think she portrays her perfectly. A uh, great performance. Tracy Velo is another great performance in the show. She's not in it a ton but the time she is in the show she has such a big personality that I absolutely loved. She really did feel like a real person as well. You also got Billy Bork who was that Bella's dad in the Twilight movies? I think it is. I could be wrong. Hold on, I'm going to check just so I don't embarrass myself while the camera's rolling. Yes, it is. Anyways, Billy Borg, he's also really good in this show as well. And I absolutely love the handling of his character. How the show starts off and you understand how the main character feels about her dad. And you don't quite understand it, but as the show progresses, you see more and more of his true character and how he really is. And just that slow unraveling of his character, I thought was absolutely masterful stuff. And I think it also shows in his appearance throughout and how he looks worse and worse as the show progresses. I think the way the show handled his character was absolutely brilliant and Billy Bork is really good in the show. You also got BJ Harrison who brings a nice warmth to the show whenever she's on screen which I always appreciated. And finally Raymond A. Black plays Nate and he's also great in this show. I love how they handled his character throughout. How they deconstruct the nice guy stereotype and they highlight the flaws within that kind of character. I just think they handled that element absolutely perfectly and 
just the entire cast, like I listed a lot of names, but everyone's fantastic in this show. At no point did it feel like I was watching characters in a TV show. It always felt like I was watching real people. It feels genuine to out. And despite the type of show this is, this show also does have plenty of intense moments. Like the very opening scene reminded me of something like The Invisible Man. And it's just a masterclass in tension. And you instantly, from the very beginning, understand what's happening in the weight of everything. And it just draws you in instantly and you understand everyone and everything just like that. And it's just an excellent way to begin this show. You just feel so hopeless for the main character as she undergoes bad situation after bad situation after bad situation. Anytime there's a glimmer of hope, it instantly gets taken away and you just feel bad for this character throughout. And there's one scene early on where she's driving and her kid starts crying and you just understand how overwhelmed she feels with absolutely everything. You just understand this character at all times. You may not always agree with what she's doing because she definitely does screw up a few times in the show, but you always understand why she did that. The characters don't have to be perfect, but you have to understand them. And I do think this show does a great job at getting you to understand them and allowing you to sympathize for them. And the fact that this kind of thing does go on in real life is just awful. My heart goes out to anyone in this kind of situation because it just shows how there's the difficulties that can come with this. Like you need a job to have money, to have a house, and to provide daycare for your kid, but you also need your kid to have a daycare in order to go to your job to make money for the house so and for the daycare that she can then go to, and just the difficulties that can come with that and all for different strained relationships and how they come into play. All this stuff is just handled absolutely masterfully. Like, I was really blown away by the writing in this show, and there's so much emotion underlining each and every scene. Like, there are some scenes that just absolutely broke me. This show just has that kind of emotional weight to it. And this show also does an excellent job at highlighting some of those minor issues that still affect Alex. Like, when Alex and Sean split up, how their friends start to take sides, and how that has an effect on Alex. And everything going on with Alex's muzzle. And the show also focuses, focuses on a certain cycle of abuse. There's also moments where Alex will ask someone a question or say something and she instantly regrets it and she has guilt over that one thing she might have said. It was all portrayed in a very realistic way. So despite the main issues going on in her life, there's also attention given to all these minor issues. And I just thought it was all explored absolutely perfect. And once again, the manipulative and abusive nature of her boyfriend, Sean, is just highlighted so perfectly. Like, Nick Robinson really does a great job in this role because you do see him be the nice guy. You do see him be the guy that's going to do better. And you also see the awful, abusive side. And the character still feels well-rounded, fully defined. And that just adds an extra layer of tragedy to this story. I also want to mention that the soundtrack to this show is absolutely fantastic. It really does amplify every scene that it's present in. There's a few songs by SYML, which, I will, which I'm very glad were in this show. There's also one scene featuring the song Send Me On My Way, which just had such a huge emotional impact on me. My only real issue with this show is that there is a certain repetitive nature to the story, and I know that's done purposely, like there is a point where you have to sing to yourself that we're back to square one. And that's by design, but there are a few repetitive beats throughout this entire show. Like, oh, I got a nice place to live, and then something goes wrong. Or she found a nice daycare, and something goes wrong. Or, I got my job and something goes wrong. And all those beats do feel realistic, but in the length of a 10 hour long miniseries, there are there is a point where it does start to feel a bit repetitive. Just storytelling wise, I'm not saying it doesn't make it any less realistic or genuine, but I'm just saying that watching this as a show, it does feel repetitive at times. But that all said, I was really impressed with this show. Like I absolutely loved it. The writing by Molly Smith Mitzlow is absolutely fantastic. Each and every character feels fully defined, feels fully developed, and the performances bring them to life so perfectly throughout. There is so much emotion in this show. And by the end, 
this show just had such a massive emotional impact on me. I think it's incredibly well directed. It's surprisingly tense in moments. And just, I, 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 I just loved it. I thought this was a really great show. So I'm going to go ahead and give Made an 8.5 out of 10. One last thing that I want to bring up is that at one point, me and a friend of mine did start our own cleaning business, cleaning houses. And there's a few moments in this show that just totally brought me back to that. But yeah, but anyways, have you seen Made? Is it as good as I made it out to be? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.